today I'm mixing a track for a colleague in the Finnish more music community and I thought I'll record and show you a bit of the process. We are looking at this element, the compute riff as the artist called it and let's play it. First thing that comes into my mind is that the groove will work better if I nudge the pattern a little ahead and uh, we, I tried this before uh, so that's how I know it if I nudge it by minus 5 milliseconds it will sit better you can do this also in the sequencer if you like uh, but uh, the Ableton track delays make it convenient and easy to, to nudge it here. Let's play it like this. AB. It's subtle, but it's there. So after that, I will show you my processing chain for this element. First, I have an EQ and compressor in the form of isotope neutron. I, no I will not go into details about compression and EQ, and you will find a lot of tutorials for this. But uh, Let's play it with the uh, EQ and compression and AB. the other things that came into my mind when I first listened to this uh, element in the track is that it has a lot of lo low frequencies that sit in the sides of the mix so let's solo it for a moment I brought in this A1 processor that I used to lower the, the stereo width of the element, not to 100% and make it mono because I don't want to lose the low end elements that sit in the side of the, the, the pattern. And uh, let's hear it in the context. Because I, I uh, reduced the, the volume overall, uh, because I reduced the elements on the side, I want to, to bring it uh, overall, the, the frequencies in this uh, pattern, I want to bring them a bit forward. And that's why I am using next the side widener. So I'm making overall the whole element, I'm making it a bit wider, not only the the elements in the higher uh, frequency spectrum that were sitting in mono. And uh, next, because uh, um, as I said, I reduced a lot of the, the side elements. I'm using an utility to bring back the volume overall for the, the pattern. Uh, next, last in the chain, I have a kickstart. 
which is a, a plugin that does nothing more than a sidechain also to improve the groove And finally, I will add a bit of reverb, a uh, small reverb to the to the element to make it gel in the track. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.